Hi everybody, my name is Caitlin McDonald and I am the co-owner over here at the Social Speak Network. Today we're going to be talking about how to pre-fill field for, form fields on Gravity Forms. So the tools I'm using, I have WordPress, the Enfold theme installed, that doesn't have to do with anything, but just so you know uh, what I typically use, and then Gravity Forms. And so this is, a, you know, if you have, for example, a donation button on a specific page of your website and you want to pre-fill uh, a checkbox or a radio button uh, for that type of donation um, or where that donation should go to, that works really well. Or let's say you have um, partners who have their own websites and uh, they might have a link to the page with your form on it and you want to collect that source information for where it came from, um, this is a great way to do it as well. You could even have this built in, for example, with uh, Google AdWords. You could create um, a, a specific URL or parameter that is on the end of every uh, link that you use within Gravity Forms and maybe this field, this form, shows up on your landing page. So you could pre-fill that source in the landing page uh, as a hidden field so that you know that the people came from, I don't know what my dog's doing back there, <laughs> that they came from Google Analytics. Um, so let me jump over, I'll share my screen. I've already created the form, so you'll see that here. And this form, just standard fields, name, email, um, because we've utilized this for clients uh, with donation buttons, um, I added, you know, where would you like this donation to go to, athletics, academics, and then I wanted to include options that had two words so that you could see how that worked. Same thing for a checkbox, just to show you it works here. Um, now with checkboxes, uh, you can only have it where, or I only know, if you know of a different way, please write it in the comments below. Um, but uh, only one checkbox is what I've been able to do, um, so I'll show you how to do that and then also a simple single line text field as well. So this is where, for example, you could have that, um, that referral source field. So what we wanna do is we need to go to the advanced tab of each of these items. And so I already checked this off, but allow field to be populated dynamically. And we're gonna add a parameter name. Now this way, this way that I'm showing you today, um, we call that parameter in the URL itself. Um, so this is donation, oops, select it here. And then this one, advanced, and we want it to be, oops, you can see different options I've used before, relationship. And then this last one, let's have the thing be source. Now a cool thing as well um, that you can do in future fields is let's say um, you have a referral partner um, who is, uh, let's see, the Boulder Humane Society, for example. Um, referral source, I'm just gonna do contains Boulder, just for fun. <laughs> and you want this to be, um, And you want this to show up only if the, um, the source is the Boulder Humane Society. So this is a really cool way to add more information um, to the form or have additional fields show up uh, where you are really identifying what referral sources uh, there could be and you just have that be a, um, an item in here. You could also do this, for example, with a drop down or something if you only have select referral sources. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly put in a little bit of text. Okay, so I just added that just to, for, for a little fun there. Um, so perfect, so now let's jump on over. So I created a page uh, that just has that gravity form in it. Um, so let's click to view this page so that you can see what the basic gravity form looks like. 
So we have, again, that name, email, nothing selected, where to donate to, relationship to school, referral source, and again, that HTML block is not there. So what we do to call the parameter um, is you do a question mark, and then you start typing in um, donation equals, for example, and we want it to be one of these. So you have to make sure that this donation is what aligns in the parameter name that you put in here. So if you put donate, for example, that would not do anything. Um, and so here we have donation equals, and then you have to have it be exactly what's here. So let's do academics. Whoops. And when we click enter, you will see academics is now showing up. Now, if, for example, there's one with two words, you need to use a plus sign. So here, we wouldn't have social events. We'd have social plus events. We click Enter. Now you can see that that exists there. So let's jump on down to this checkbox one. Um, and so we want to relationship equals, and I'm just going to do it with a lowercase so that you see that it won't work. So I put alumni, however, alumni here is capitalized, so we would need it capitalized. And as you can see, it's now checked off. Now, if you want to pre-fill both of these, um, we would use an ampersand and then enter in the other one as well. And so here you see social events and alumni. Um, so this referral source, this is a, an easy one as well. And so I'm just gonna double check so that I don't mess it up. Um, so it's just source, I would have typed in referral. So here, so end, and source equals Boulder plus humane plus society. And let's see if it worked. Yes, so it pre-fills in Boulder Humane Society and because I have conditional logic already in there for this next HTML field, um, it pulled in that information and it pulled it in when this referral source included the word Boulder. Uh, and that was the conditional logic that we had put there. So if you are creating a website and you have a button on one page and you want that to pre-fill something on the next page, the easiest way to do that is by utilizing, again, this parameter name. So allow field to be populated dynamically and then you enter in that parameter name. Then you take that parameter name, you do a question mark, type in the parameter name, equals and then type in what you want that equals what you want it to be. Um, this can be used as you see here uh, very easily for uh, radio fields, check boxes, and also text fields. Then later on in the form you can assign conditional logic based on what those items are. So this just helps with uh, user functionality for the individual who's filling out the form. Uh, and it also helps you to make sure that things are more standardized. So you could have, you know, if somebody was just typing in the source as Boulder Humane Society, they might spell it wrong, they might have capitalized, they might um, just put Boulder Humane. But by having it be where you are telling them what the source is, it'll be easier to track and easier to uh, collect data on this without having to spend time to go through and make sure everything is standardized. Um, so I hope that this has been helpful for you. Uh, it took me a while to learn how to do this, even though it is very straightforward and very simple. It's something that you can uh, implement on your website starting really today. Um, so please, if you found this helpful, subscribe to our channel. We do post a lot of videos on medical marketing, but we also have a lot of videos that go out on how to use the Enfold theme, WordPress, and Gravity Forms as well, just because uh, in our website development, uh, we are utilizing these tools every single day.
Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and I will see you next time.